the new and famous device this 2024, the new edition of Megascan Pro in Sixer system, a powerful and advanced metal detector and scanner system. It is designed to accurately and efficiently detect the various types of targets, including gold, metals, and gemstones, buried under the ground or hidden inside objects. With its advanced detection technologies and high accuracy, the Megascan Pro can quickly scan the large areas and provide precise results, making it an essential tool for treasure hunters and archaeologists. Megascan Pro comes with the detachable parts and accessories. This is the main unit. It has this color display with navigation buttons and of course with the serial number of the main unit of the Megascan Pro. We have this headphone to attach to the main unit. IMTU sensor to use in long-range search system. We have this battery pack. It's removable. And also, this one is the two antenna recipient. And inside the box, the charger and the bolt and nuts. The case, it's waterproof and shockproof case. We have this tablet included to use in 3D ground scanner search system. We have this VST sensor to use in the 3D ground scan and of course in the pinpointer search system with including bug. And lastly, we have our golden detector warranty card. Let's assemble the IMTU sensor for the long range search system. So just get this IMTU sensor and also this main unit. So just put it like this and put this two antenna recipient. Just make it longer. And also the battery pack is the wire. Just uh, put it under the main unit and you can turn on the battery and the main unit. And you can use now the long-range locator search system for the Megascan Pro. This is the screen of the Megascan Pro. So it has the search system available. So for example, we have this ground scan, auto long-range, manual long-range, ionic, bionic, and the pinpointer. So we have this also scan files. Once you use the 3D ground scanner, it will be saved here. So again, we have this settings. In these settings, we have this power saver, date and time, set date, and set time. In security, there is a pin lock and set pin. And also, for the reset menu, it has this reset settings, factory settings, and clear memory. For the screen menu, sleep mode, and the brightness. So you can adjust the brightness of the screen in the Megascan Pro. And also, you can change the languages. So, this is all the available languages for the Megascan Pro. And we have this sound menu, general volume, keypad volume, and scan volume. So, all of that you can adjust. And lastly, we have this information of the device, including the device version, software version, model, and the serial number. Now, we are in the auto long range locator search system. So as you can see, you can set the distance up to 3,000 meters. And also, for the depth, it's adjustable from 0 to 100 meters. Just press the OK, then follow the right direction showing on the screen. Just do it like this and slowly, 90 degrees. And then, it will show you left direction, just Make it slower to go back on the left direction. Okay, until it will reach here. Then it will again notify you for the direction on the right. Like this one. Until you reach the center of the direction. Then as you can see, it has this report for the percentage of the gold, silver, iron, and the diamond. 
Now let's proceed in the manual long range locator search system in the Megascan Pro. So as you can see, it has the target available. So we have this gold treasure, gold veins, iron, platinum, silver. So let's go back. We have also this bronze, cavity, copper, diamond, gemstones, and gold ore. So for example, you will choose the gold ore. So it will only, or the Mega Scam Pro, will only locate the gold ore. No other type of targets. Press OK. For the distance, you can adjust this up to 3,000 meters. So 0 to 3,000 meters. Press OK. And for the depth, maximum is 50 meters. So it's also adjustable. So it depends on you. For example, you want only the device to detect in 20 meters or up to 20 meters. Just press OK. Then scan all the settings that you made. Target, distance, and depth. Gold ore, 2,950 meters and 20 meters depth. Just start scan. Then as you can see on the screen, there is a compass. So of course, it's better to locate at the first at the north. So this one, as you can see, you have to unlock this antenna. So there is a uh, indicator, antenna indicator. Left or right, it will move. And also it has this ground balancing or what I mean is the balance indicator. So it should be always in the normal position or normal balance. Right now, we're going to select the Ionic system, which is the Ionic system will only search for the Ionic content of the metals or even the gold targets. So if it's buried under the ground for a long time, it will locate the Ionic content of the metals. So uh, for example, you will show this, uh, you will see what I mean, you will see this circle shape here with the color indicator. So once it will give you a blue signal, meaning there is a cavity behind the wall or even under the ground. And if the device will give you a red signal, meaning the device or the Megascan Pro in Ionic search system is detecting a metallic object. So on the left side, you can adjust the gain and on the right side, you can adjust the sensitivity. We will select now the Bionic system. So Bionic system is same like the Ionic system. It will look for the Ionic content of the target. But the difference is that on this Bionic system, you will lock one target, for example, gold bracelet. Once you lock this gold bracelet, it will only locate or detect same content of this gold bracelet. After locking the target, okay, just lock it and you can now search in the area that you want to search with the same content of the gold bracelet. So if there is a reaction and if there is a signal, meaning the device Megascan Pro in Bionic system detected the gold content. Now let's assemble the VST sensor to use in the 3D ground scanner and the pinpointer search system. So all you need is the VST sensor, main unit, and the battery pack. So this one is the main unit. Just put this sensor and of course the battery. Turn on the battery and the main unit. And now you can use the 3D ground scanner or the pinpointer search system. Now we're going to use the 3D ground scan. So I already connected the tablet to the main unit of the Megascan Pro. So uh, all the settings that you will gonna made or make will be here on the tablet. Just press this ground scan. Then now, as you can see, you can arrange everything here. With the width, for example, we were going to uh, do this three and also for the height or number of lines let's make it four and 
for the start point, for example, you want to start on the left or even on the right. Just select it. So just press or select the left. And also, as you can see, it is changing on the screen of the main unit. And start or scan mode. You can select auto and manual. If you're going to choose manual, each step you have to press the trigger button. And for the scan pattern, you can use the zigzag or choose zigzag or the parallel pattern. After all the settings, if you're done, just start scan. Then you can now use the 3D ground scan and scan the area that you want. Now we're going to start scanning the ground. So uh, by the way, the sensor should be at least 10 cm away from the ground. And each step, you have to press this trigger button. Uh, remember, we choose the manual pattern or manual scanning mode. Let's press 1. After that, you have to go back and move to your right with same position. And now we're done the scanning. So by the way, each step should be at least 30 centimeter away. So after that, we're going to save the file. So we can open now and check it and analyze the data. So as you can see, you can view it in 3D and also in 2D. So by the color, there is color red. Red is for the metallic object and green one is for the normal ground without any object or any target. And the blue one is the cavity or space under the ground. So it can be tunnel or even cave. And again, you, ca you have this wireframe. You can view it like this. Just press it again. Reset. Data. This is the number uh, value of each column. So the higher the value is, the better. So if it is higher, of course, as you can see here on the right with the red color, it's metallic object. Grid, you can remove the column. And also filter, removing the normal, normal ground. And also the depth. You can see that you will analyze it and you will know the exact depth of each column or each target and color. Dirt type, of course, is important. So you have to choose the correct soil type that you have. This is all the soil type available. So for example, you have sandy. Then after that, close. Then it will give you the correct depth of the target or the correct depth of each column. Colors also, you can adjust default, hot, seismic, and spring. Now we're going to use the pinpointer search system. So pinpointer search system can be used to detect the metallic object under the ground using the VST sensor. So just select this pinpointer. Then also, as you can see, you can calibrate it by pressing the trigger button and also this sensitivity you can adjust and if the device is detecting a metallic object it will show you the red color like that and it's going up so once the device is detecting a cavity under the ground or space under the ground it will show you the color blue color Golden Detector Company providing best price, after-sale support, and free delivery. Contact us for more information.